fan is a professional baseball player. He plays outfield for the San Diego Padres in a sport that requires very good vision. But Tommy Fan has an eye condition called keratoconus, which is a potentially blinding eye condition that millions of Americans have, and usually they don't even realize that they have it. Keratoconus can cause kind of distorted, blurry vision, causes a lot of trouble seeing at night, night glare, and oftentimes people just assume that they need new glasses. So they go to the eye doctor and they get a new pair of glasses and they still don't see as well as they want to. The problem is that it's very hard to diagnose keratoconus without doing something called a topography reading. And a topography reading is a very easy thing to do. I have my patient sit in the chair and put their chin right here. And it's a, a machine that will take a reading of the front of the eye by lights flashing on the cornea. Keratoconus is a disease of the cornea, which is the front part of the eye. And so what happens is this machine will take 15,000 readings on the front of the eye and it will come up with something called a topography reading. And I'm going to show you two pictures. One is a normal picture of a topography reading, which is this picture right here on the right. This is a normal eyeball. Topography shows how steep something is. So in this picture right here, you can see the green areas are a little bit steeper, the blue is flat. But if you look over at the picture on the left, this picture is someone that has keratoconus. So when you look at this right here, this is a big ring uh, right here. It's a kind of a cone and it's very, very steep. The red makes that very steep. What happens when something is very steep like that is it causes a lot of astigmatism. The problem is the astigmatism is irregular, meaning not regular. So it causes that glare and distortion that people get um, from that. And so what happens is there's different ways to to treat keratoconus. One of the things that you cannot do with keratoconus though is you cannot treat it with traditional glasses and soft contact lenses because it doesn't work with that irregular astigmatism. Years ago, the only way that they would treat it with, uh, was a uh, corneal transplant. The problem with that is it really didn't work that well because the transplant itself caused a lot of irregular astigmatism. So patients that I see now that have corneal transplants, they don't see any better with the after the transplant than they did before. The other thing that they would do is years ago, they would fit you with a hard, small contact lens. The problem with that was a lot of times they weren't comfortable. So people with those small, hard lenses on that keratocone, the cone of the keratoconus, it would cause um, discomfort. So now they fit with something called scleral lenses, which is basically it takes the best of both worlds. It's the size of a soft lens. So it sits on the white part of the eye like a soft contact lens, makes it very comfortable and it gives you the vision of a hard lens. So over here, this shows a patient whose cornea, this is the front of the eye, is shaped in that cone right there. And the scleral contact lens sits all the way down here, so it's very, very comfortable, but it corrects for all that is irregular astigmatism and causes nice, sharp, clear vision. It's very important that it's, that it's fit properly. So when I fit someone with a scleral contact lens, then I also wanna look right here, and this shows the cornea. This is a OC2 reading of the contact lens on the eye. This line right here is the front of the contact lens. This line is the back of the lens. And this is the most important thing is the space in between because you never want anything to rest on that cone. It wouldn't be healthy for the cornea. So it's very, very important that the contact lenses fit properly to not only be healthy for the eye, the cornea itself it doesn't want to get damaged anymore with keratoconus. But the most important thing also is the vision. You want to make sure that you maintain good vision also. So it's exciting to know that there are things that you can do for keratoconus. I just hope that anybody that sees this or they, if they know somebody that has keratoconus or if they've heard that term, that they know that there's help. So many of my patients come in and they see me and they've gone years without good vision, years and years without good vision. And there's nothing more exciting than putting that scleral lens on someone's eye who has seen poorly for years and years and making their whole day, their whole world. And I have to tell you, they're in tears and I'm in tears, but it's so exciting to put a scleral lens on somebody and light up their whole world and they can realize how clear they can see.